So, I did my project about Ernest Hemingway because, um, yeah, my name is Olivia Thompson, and I did it because of my writing about fiction class. We've been reading a lot of stories about, well, by Ernest Hemingway. Um, so, Ernest Hemingway is by far one of the best fiction writers of American literature. The reason why I think this is is because he introduced the writing style of journalism to the world of writing. Ernest M. Hemingway was born on July 21st, 1899 in Oak Park, Illinois. His father, Clarence E. Hemingway, was a physician. His mother, Grace H. Hemingway, was a, mus a, was a musician. Ernest's parents were both uh, well-educated and well-respected in their community. From 1913 to 1917, he attended the Oak Park and River Forest High School. After he graduated school, he went to work for the Kansas City Star, which is Kansas um, school. I mean, not school. <laughs> um, paper. These are some of the works that he's written. Um, he's written many, many, many more. So Hills Like White Elephants, which I have read in my English class. It's a very good story. The Sun Also Rises is a very good um romantic tale, um, and for whom the bell tolls, and his most famous piece, I think, um, which is a short story called The Old Man in the Sea, and so these are only a few of the many, many pieces he wrote, short stories and novels. Um, in, in 1918, during World War I, he enlisted in the military to become an ambulance driver for the Red Cross. In, 19, um, in the same year, um, he was seriously wounded by mortar fire. Despite his injury, he carried a fellow soldier to safety. For this courageous act, he received the Italian Silver Medal of Bravery. When he returned home, he married Hadley Richardson, who gave birth to his first son, John. While the couple lived in Paris, Hadley soon became aware that Ernest was having an affair with a lady named pa uh, Pauline Piffer, and so they divorced in 1927. Soon after their marriage, the couple moved to Key West, Florida, where their son Patrick was born, and later his son Gregory. In, um, in 1937, Hemingway reported on the Spanish Civil War from the North American newspaper Alliance. While in Spain, he met Martha Gellhorn, who he married after divorcing Pauline. When Hemingway arrived in London, he met Mary Welch. He and Martha divorced and married, and he married Mary. But on a um, but on a safari in Africa, he barely survived two plane crashes that left him in horrible conditions for the rest of his life. He um, after his safari in Africa, he moved back to Key West and stayed and also stayed in Cuba for a little while. But sadly. In, 1950, in 1959, he bought a house in Idaho and committed suicide there. So I put some earnest quotes up here that I thought are really, really good, and I thought that they really stood out to me. So before you talk, listen. Before you react, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you quit, try. Courage is grace under pressure. And there's nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Worry a little bit every day, and in a lifetime you will lose a couple of years. If something is wrong, fix it if you can. But train yourself not to worry. Worry never fixes anything. There is no friend as loyal as a book, which I believe is so true. <laughs> um, on the bottom left-hand corner, we read this six-word short story, Baby Shoes Never Worn. Uh, well, it should say for, yeah, for sale, Baby Shoes Never Worn, which is a very sad and ironic kind of a story about a, probably a couple who was expecting a child, but maybe because of a miscarriage, there is no child, so there's baby shoes that were never worn. These are some. These are two pictures. The one on the um, on your right is one of um, his house in Cuba, 
and this one is of his house in Key West, Florida. I have been to his house in Key West, Florida, and it's very cool. There are a lot of cats, because he loved cats, and they wander around, and it's amazing to see all of the furniture in his studio in the attic of a small little house off of the main house. So if anybody really likes Ernest Hemingway or feels like they don't like they're down in Key West and they don't really know what to do, just check out the Ernest Hemingway house. It is amazing. It's so much fun and it's great. So